let's talk about Overwatch then, sure. Overwatch 2 is bringing back 6v6 in Season 14. It should release before the end of 2024. This is so funny because 6v6... Uh, because if 6v6 ends up being permanent again, then what exactly was the point of Overwatch 2? So, the point of Overwatch 2. Firstly, I, I, I thought I made a stupid witty comment because he he are gonna form engagements, ha ha ha. Uh, to make it free to play and change their business model around it. That was my initial thought around it, but then I thought about it again. Like, especially after this person commented, hate to break it to you, but uh, the game's already free to play. Yeah, that's what I said, retard. <laughs> that's what I said, retard. They made the game free. But it wasn't before, dumbass. It doesn't need to be called Overwatch 2 just to make it free. So, here's the thing. They changed the engine. They also changed the engine, which in hindsight probably is more important than changing the business model. But a lot of games rename themselves with engine swaps. Yes, it sucks that PvE was scrapped, but yeah, engine swaps and business model swap, it makes it still valid. So, that's why it's Overwatch 2. The original idea was to have all of this PvE, the engine, obviously, and um, the business model. The business model mainly was changed because the EU was like, fuck you, America, remove loot boxes, or you will not be able to sell this game here. People will not be able to play your game here if you keep this in game. So Blizzard was like, oh boy, but we gotta sell to America, uh, to Europe. We gotta keep making the money. So with all their plans that they had coming up, they were like, okay, we're scrapping this. We're making this game free. So basically Overwatch 1.6 since it's only an engine swap. Yes. And it's free to play now. <laughs> and it's free to play now. EA surprise mechanics. <laughs> Yeah, they needed to remove the surprise mechanics. Uh, I think someone here had a good comparison gif. Yeah, here. Like, this is actually the engine swap. Like, and the remodels, I guess. The redone models. Like, look, original. I think... Remind me, Overwatch 1 was like, what? No, it was 60. Or, like, rather 50. It was 50. Hardly any difference? It's... The faces are way better. Plus, you gotta keep in mind that it's an engine swap. It's not only... Like, it's not only a model upgrade. It's an engine swap. They're using an entirely new engine. Like, they're not just using, like, an updated model. This is just uh, one example of it. Oh, Gemma Fox, hi, hi. So, to me... Personally, I always preferred the 6v6. I don't like 5v5 in Overwatch. I don't like the 5v5 in Overwatch. 6v6 was always better. They are running on Unreal. I don't know which one they are running on now. I wouldn't be able to tell you, to be honest. But what I am able to tell you is that Jeff Kaplan originally said when Overwatch came to you as to why he is using the, fo uh, the team format of six players versus six players. To which he answered it, that he thinks this is the best way to balance a team with six players. Which I do agree with, because in Overwatch you could go two tanks, two DPS, one healer. Perfectly balanced. I would say. And 5v5 just kind of ruined this entire thing. I mean, Jeff Kaplan left because they ruined his baby. Aren't these characters from the corn video said, Yeah, they are. <laughs> Uh, bro, the corn was so good, they made an entire ass game out of it. As all things should be. <laughs> the tanks are pretty brutal, to be honest. They'll have to nerf them. Yeah, they definitely have to do... Uh, uh, have to redo balance changes. 100% they have to. Anthony Pokemon, thanks for the follow. Both experimental 5v5 and 6v6 modes are coming out as devs try to determine if they should bring back 6v6 permanently. People loved 6v6. I think... I think the only reason they went to 5v5 is because the dumbasses at Blizzard were like, Oh, but other games, other games are doing it like 5v5, League of Legends, right? And, 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 what, what I can't even name any other fucking games anymore. <laughs> I think they try to have a, um, Dota, yes, Dota as well. I think they tried to have a overwatch always tried to have a um competitive uh, presence like uh, yeah, an esports re uh, representation which honestly they j basically fucking suck at like overwatch competitive gameplay is so fucking boring 
Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, League of Legends, I don't know, kinda hype, but... The Overwatch esports scene is so boring. <laughs> it is so boring, and I can't tell you why. But, yeah, I'm guessing it's like the executive decision... Uh, uh, like you guys are saying, executive decisions, like fucking higher-ups being like, Oh, yeah, to have a, a bigger presence in esports, and all the esports people are having five, uh, uh, five t players. It's not mathing today, I guess. Yeah, I'm very bad at mathing. That's why I think they did it because high ups were like, no, five v five makes more sense. Overwatch 2 is finally bringing back 6v6 uh, with a series of new experimental modes. When Overwatch 2 was released, the hero shooter switched from 6v6 to 5v5 with just one tanker team. This update was met with lots of criticism from players who reminisced about the more team oriented structure to the original, literally. Literally. But, uh, well, the devs have listed and confirmed that shortly after Season 14 debuts, there will be a series of new modes to test out 6v6 could work in Overwatch 2. It will work. People loved 6v6. 6v6 was so much fun. I loved 6v6. I played 6v6. Imagine Overwatch adapting TF2 balance of 12v12. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I hope not. In October 24 blog post, the devs revealed that the first test coming one week after Season 4 releases is codename Min1 Max3. I wonder what that is gonna be about. The mode, which will be a variation of open cube, will require teams to have at least one tank, DPS, of, or support. Oh, you can go up to three! Okay, okay, I see. That's interesting. Yeah, sure, that sounds interesting. What if Overwatch made a Fortnite Battle Royale like game mode in an open field? They don't... I don't think they have enough characters for that, because usually Battle Royale, you need like a lot of players, right? Like usually the standard size for Battle Royales is like 100 players. I've personally not seen a Battle Royale that's under 100 players. So... How would you balance this? Right? Just having people play the same one over and over again? I don't think they could balance it. Like, with how... Like, the Overwatch heroes are, I think balancing that would be very, very difficult. Because usually, in Battle Royales, Everyone is able to use the same kind of weapons, and in Overwatch, it's like characters you play as. Apex has less, I think. It might, but in Apex, it still stands that the main focus is still the same guns. Like, yeah, your characters have abilities, but not as impactful as in Overwatch, I would say. And yes, I've played a little bit of Apex. Like, the abilities, I would say, like, the ability functions of a hero slash champion slash what the fuck ever you want to call it is more impactful in Overwatch than it is in Apex. The characters can repeat. Imagine an insane gameplay and she's getting bored of that, I think, would be hard. Yes, but again, a balancing would come in. Like, imagine if uh, there's just a whole... Let's say you can go in teams of up to three and they just go all tanks what are you gonna do against all tanks if you're just a squishy fucking healer like imagine you play a fucking mercy and you get uh, fucking caught out by a f three tanks would be unbalanced but fun in my opinion fair 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 i'm just making it for the sake of chaos sure <laughs> sure you know what you know what, just for the sake of chaos and and saying, like, full on saying, yeah, we're not gonna be able to um, balance this. This is gonna suck for all of you, but enjoy the chaos. You know what, I'd respect that. I'd respect that if they did that. And I'd probably play it. I just want an open world game where you can play as a dragon. I'm pretty sure there are some. I will be honest, esports are the prime reason gaming went to shit and... 2k10s companies wanted their games to become what football is today where your average dad takes his son to the game it sucked the whole fun out of it it also explains why these games are so toxic football fans are certainly not the type of person i think of when i th think of well just individuals you are absolutely fucking right with that like football fans have you heard of the statistics in england have you heard about the england statistics i think i mentioned them before <laughs> that <laughs> On a game day in England, domestic abuse cases go up. That's a real thing. 
Oh my god. Uh, it's like even... It's like even when their team wins. Even when their team wins, it goes up. Even when their team wins. England is England is over, man. It goes up regardless if England wins or loses. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe R34 was so powerful they made a game out of it. <laughs> right? That's crazy. There are a few different combinations here that we will be able to try, but this opens up many different team compositions that I haven't seen before in Overwatch 2, the devs explained. Honestly, I was thinking about that though. Like, what about just one healer, three tanks? Like, yeah, a lot of job on the healer to do, but imagine if it's like self-healing tanks, like, um... Roadhog, and who else can self-heal? I think the Maui guy can self-heal. Uh... There are self-healing tanks, I just don't remember which ones anymore. I've, I haven't been playing Overwatch too much. Imagine beating your wife to celebrate your favorite team pretty pork if you ask me! No! No! <laughs> oh my god. I live in Belgrade and as a Red Star fan, when it's derby time, the whole town goes to shit. Jesus Christ, man. How much money do you think an average famous Overwatch R3 animator makes a year? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Not even a question. A shit ton. More than anyone in chat. More than me. More than... I don't know. <laughs> Probably on the fucking OF model spaces, man. Probably on that level. I like my football games like, I, like my wife beaten hard. No, chat! Bad! Bad chat! Bad! We can't have that! We're on Twitch, damn it! More than an OF model, you think? I would say probably around the same. I would say around the same. Probably around the same. I'm I'm gonna be honest, I will probably try the 6v6. I will definitely try the 6v6. I very much like um like Kiriko still. And occasionally I do like to boot up Overwatch and just play like a game once in a <laughs> in a in a blue moon, you know? Uh so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I 100 percent believe that uh Overwatch 6v6 is coming back, and I think that's for the best. Generally think that's for the best. Maybe Overwatch is finally coming back. Probably not, but it's definitely gonna improve. <laughs> it's definitely gonna improve. <laughs>